Hello friends, today we are gonna make a skater dress and give it a finished look by adding piping, buttons, cuts, borders and zipper. And this zipper is not only for show but it also works as I am gonna show you later in this video. So let's start. Let's first delete everything. So now we are gonna make the outer shape of the dress. Take the polygon and start with the neck. So now we are going to clone it to make the other half of the dress unfold. We are going to delete this point because we don't need this and this point also because we don't need these points. Now we are going to make the neck a bit curvy with the curve edit tool and the arm holds too. I think they are a bit closer, so let's move them a bit far. This too. Yes, that's perfect. Now we are going to make the back side of the dress by copy it and mirror paste. Move it to the back. Now we are going to sew it with the segment sewing tool in 3D window. Okay, now this looks good. So let's move on further. Let's make the cut first. To make the cut, we have to take the internal line and we have to start from where it ends to where we want it to be. Now let's select this internal line. Right click on it and go to the cut. It will cut this in two parts as you can see it here if I move this but I can't really see the cut a bit further now I can see it So now let's do the border first. Select uh, border line, right click on it and offset as internal line. The default is 1 mm but I have set it on 5 so that I will get more border. You can set it to more if you like, like 10. You can see the preview here. 10 is a bit much so let's go to 8 and I'm good with it so this is it now while these are selected right click on them and do the cut and sew it will give you a border feeling as you can see it's a bit different from the fabric let me change the color first so that you can see it clearly for that you have to add another fabric, go to the color and change the color, we are going to change it to red maybe, okay and you have to apply it on your garment, so as you can see this is your border, this is your garment, this is the few of the problems you face while making the garment, so to resolve it you have to 
click on it it will show you the particle distance basically it will solve it put it on 10 or 5 and simulate and you see it's resolved it makes the mesh a bit thicker and heavy so while you are making it let it be on 20 so that it will be easier to simulate so now let's put the piping over here on the neck and the underarm this is the piping tool select it and select where you want to put the piping This tool works only on your 3D window, so make sure you are working there and double click to end it. So that is your piping. It's a sign fabric tool, that's a sign fabric one and you can see it in white. Let's put it in underarms also. Let's assign them the fabric one. This two so that we can see. So that is your piping. As you see the dress is coming out pretty well. So let's add the buttons now. This is your button tool. Take it. And we can add it in 3D pattern. So let's add one. If you think you have put it on the wrong place, you can move it with the move button tool. This is the move button tool. So you can move it. So add other buttons. You can add in a 2D window also. And if you think you have done something wrong, like you have put the button in the wrong place or the distance is too much or too less, you can move them as you like. So this is the buttons. Now let's add a zipper at the back because that's how dresses are you have to open the zip to wear it so let's add it this is the zipper tool but to add zipper you have to make a cut where you have to sew the zipper so let's cut it first like we did it in the front we have to take the internal line make a cut And it with double click. Now let's right click on it and cut. And we get the edges. Move it a bit further so that we can see. Okay. Now we are going to add the zipper here. So as you do with the piping, you can only put the zipper in 3D view. So let's select the zipper. Click on the edge you want to put the zipper on. One side and it will double click. And start with the second side and end it with the double click. So this is the zipper you get. You can open it. First turn off the simulating button and then select your puller. As you can see, you can open it, simulate if you want it to be open and you can also close it. First turn off the simulation button and then you can close it. 
So here you go. This perfectly fine zip. This is your dress you get. So if you're happy with the zipper, it's good. But you can always change the shape of the puller and the slider from your property editor. These are the slider shapes you get. You can change them as you like. And you can also change the puller. This I like. And you can also change the color of your zipper. That's your basic color. Let's change it to reddish. So this is all with your skater dress with piping, buttons, skirts, borders and zipper. You can also change the texture of this dress. Let's see. Select your fabric. Go to texture. Um, have any texture you want just add it and open so that's your texture you can always change if you don't like it That's your texture. But I like it plain. So you can always delete this texture here and change your colors. That's all for this skater dress, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel CG family.